At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Following the death of 38-year-old Amber Spradlin, residents of Prestonsburg took to the streets in a demonstration to demand justice. This is just a demonstration to bring to the public's awareness that we do have a murderer in our community who is walking around, and we do have people in our community who are trying to protect this murderer. There are people who know what went on, but they're not talking, and uh, we just think the community has a right to know. Women that go missing and are presumed murdered, and it just gets swept under the rug, it seems like, and we just didn't want Amber to be one of those uh, one of those numbers, one of those statistics. Spradlin's body was found at a home on Arkansas Creek Sunday, June 18th, and while no cause of death has been released, Kentucky State Police say her death appears to be the result of foul play. Amber was my cousin and we grew up together. Amber and I traveled a lot. We would go shopping together. We cooked together. Uh, we just, we were more, she was like a little sister or, or a daughter to me than, than a cousin. I saw Amber about every single day. I talked to her every day. I knew that Amber was really well liked, but I had no idea how well liked that Amber was. The people who have shown up here to help support us, it's important to them too. And all the people on Facebook who have joined our Justice for Amber site, uh, I think the last I looked there was more than two and a half, uh, 2.4 thousand I think is what we had. So it's just overwhelming. I knew that she made a difference in a lot of people's lives, but I had no idea how important Amber was to so many people. The family will be hosting a candlelight vigil at David School Wednesday, June 20th at 8 p.m. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.